Welcome back to more Manson. It is your boy Manson, man. We back again with another reaction video, guys. Look, man. We got some slick talk. Can we get slick talk to 100k subscribers, man? I need to see a plaque back there on slick talk wall, bro. I got any my guy still using power director. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with it, my guy. My guy's on his grind. My guy is on his grind. I think he's like 60 something thousand. 60 something, almost 70 thousand. Can we get my man to 100k, man? Link to this video will be in the description. This video he's talking about Faith and Ketsy. Leaves husband for being broke. Yo, this is wild, bro. This is wild. Like, I remember, like, I had a crush on this girl when I was in the States. Like, I, I felt like she was, she was bad. She was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She messed around and got married. You feel me? She messed around and got married. Had a kid. Thought, I, thought, I thought she was done. She was gone. But now she here. She's back in the streets. She's back in the streets, y'all. Imagine. She's back in the streets. She's, she's, she's divorced with a kid and back in the streets. Let's, let's check this out. Back with another video. So I want to talk about this story that Faith and Katie left her husband for going broke. For those who don't know, Faith and Katie yeah. is a wannabe My Kim boy Kardashian. She's a bootleg version of Kim Kardashian. This girl has been fame hungry since she was 16. She opened a twerking group that fell on its face. She started a rap career that fell on its face. She started so many businesses that fell on her face. She has no talent. She's never been talented. She can't sing. She can't act. She has a reaction reality shows that's doing not so good. Apparently, the numbers of that reality show is not so good. And I'm hearing that the fee that the reality show pays is also not so good. So she's an Instagram influencer who's hey. trying to do her thing. Not really, but she's trying to do her thing. She left her husband because that man went broke. Apparently... Mm, 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 mm. That guy has going through some financial troubles. People are coming down on him. He's apparently like a scammer. This guy is financing Damn. people out of their money. So obviously a girl like Faith and Casey married this man for the money that he has. She didn't marry him because... See, that's why. Y'all wonder why I'm still single. Y'all wonder why I... Hey, y'all wonder why I don't waste my time. I'm focused. Jen, stay focused. Don't end up in, don't end up in this situation. They, money is all they want. Money is all they want. Find one that already is doing her own thing and got money. Well, I mean, she put, but she was though. Like, find one that's gonna continue to do her own thing and get her money while you're doing your thing and getting your money. So y'all can both get money together. Like, why, why all of a sudden I'm getting money, you get money, we married now. That means. You no longer get money. You just depend on my money. How does that work out? Uh, never, because she liked never. him or she wanted to be with him. She married him because never, she wanted the money. Because that's what people like Faith and Getty are. She's a low, down, dirty shame. That's what people like this do. They marry you for what you have, and as soon as you lose what you have, they're out the window. It's not till death do us part. It's till you go broke. If you it's born, till if you, you go, go broke. broke I'm hey, go quote that. It's not till when death do us part. It's till when you get broke or when you go broke. And not even just going broke. It's about what you have, uh, your influence. You know, these days, you know what I'm saying? It's not even about, it's not even just about money. You know what I'm saying? The girl could have money. She could just be dating you just because you have a following or, or you have something else of value of her. You know what I'm saying? Which, I mean, but it makes sense though. I mean, like, you don't want to date no one that is not gonna bring nothing to the table for one. But where I just feel like where where people go wrong is you can't just you can't stop giving up what you bring into the table and just expect them to just keep bringing to the table. Is that how it works? Y'all both gotta be bringing something to the table. You feel me? On. People like Faith and Ketty are not willing to stick for the grind. They're not willing to ride it out. If you're a guy and you marry somebody like a Faith and Ketty, just know that as soon as you grow, as soon as you go broke, they're gone. And apparently that Faith and Ketty is back it's in the over. club again. She's hosting clubs again. She's gone back to like the fucking clubs. Imagine going from street, living in a fucking in mansion streets. to hosting clubs like a fucking it back girl. Baby girl, Faith and Ketty, you're not that that girl anymore. You used to be that girl. Let me tell you, 2016 to the, I want to say 2018, Faith and Ketty was the hottest chick on social media in SA. You know, she was talking yeah, about, like she was banging. She was banging. Who's that when girl she was now? like 21, Clally. 22, she was banging. But baby girl, Faith and Ketty, the problem is, 
30 is knocking on your door. You're 29 now. You're not, you're not young anymore. Remember how you used to brag about your age and tell people that you're 23, you know, you're 22, I'm a 22 year old girl, I'm a 23 year old girl. Those days are gone, Faith and Getsy. You have become the old chick in the club. That's what you are. You are the old chick in the club. And we all know what happens to the old chick in the club. Your time is gone. Stop being in the club. Your time is gone. And you also have a baby on the other hand. You also have a baby. So you have a broke nigga on one side and you have a baby on the other side. Baby girl, you have married. You have invested your time in the wrong person. You saw a scammer. You saw a finesse with a lot. She tried to finesse the finesse. And got finessed. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, these is all learning experiences. Like, everything glitter is not gold. You feel me? Like, everything that look good ain't always good. I need to tell myself that, actually. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to get with an it girl and, and got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get with an it girl and got it. That's no way. A lot of money, and then you said, wow, I'm set for life. I'm going to marry this guy because he's rich. We're going to be rich for life. I never have to be poor a day in my life. But what you forgot to mention is that this man is not a hardworking man. He's a scammer because no hardworking man in his right man would marry somebody like a Faith in Katie. Imagine taking Faith in Katie to a, ma to a family function. How embarrassing would that be to take somebody like Faith and Getty, somebody that's all over social media, somebody that's tatted up? Like, that's embarrassing. What would the in-laws are going to say? That's kind of like embarrassing. No, no right man, hardworking man, hardworking Oh, Yo, he's going in. This man in his right mind will take somebody like a Faith and Getty to like a, fa to like a work function. That's embarrassing. So Faith and Getty, you leaving this man because he's going broke is exactly what you are. It says a lot about your character. You're not willing to stick it out. You're not willing to stay for the grind. You're not willing to stand by your man until he gets right. You're willing to stay there until he goes broke. When he goes broke, you're gone. But unfortunately, you have a baby now. That's the problem. You're 29 years old and you have a baby. You have a baby with a broke nigga. That's the worst thing that you could do. A baby with a broke nigga. What man is going to invest in you? Hey. Yo, nah, bro. This guy, this guy's slick talk, man. Give this man a plaque. Give this man a just YouTube plaque ASAP. Give this man a comment down y'all's thoughts on this whole situation, man. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't do that, but I'm gonna be.